Mr. Chris. Yes, sir. It's another day with Smurf. Another day. Another one. Just when you all thought we were all done. <laughs> but wait, there's more. But wait, there's more. A full paint job of a car is so much more than people realize, yeah. especially when it comes to assembly, disassembly. The main body was painted last week. The flake looks so so good. It looks I mean, really good. This is my first time seeing it out of the booth in kind of a more natural habitat. Under the LED light. Let me tell you what, it was worth all the effort. It's amazing. But to you, what's different? So that's nothing. What, that's right. No. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna paint the roof and the rear spoiler, the California special spoiler on Smurf, tuxedo black. Which tuxedo black is essentially a beautiful metallic black that Ford created that's mostly on like the F-150s and stuff yeah. like that. That way the sparkles go from here to there rather than this ugly, destroyed grabber blue we yeah. have right now. And well, Chris, now it's just taping up the roof, getting the spoiler in the booth. Didn't mean to rhyme. What would that dude blue album cover look like? Honestly, anybody out there who follows me on Twitter or Instagram, <laughs> go make an album cover with one of my pictures or any video. You have my full permission to use any frame now that we've said that. So we have an inside joke here at SSR Collision. And that inside joke is, Chris finally talked somebody into using Tuxedo Black. I try so hard. Yeah, because he'll have a customer who comes in and he's like, hey, I need my spoiler painted black. Or I need whatever, XYZ painted black. And he goes, you know, we can add a little spice to it. <laughs> and then they're like, nah, nah, I just want that plain Jane, dude. Nah, yeah. yeah. But he was so excited when he was like, Tuxedo Black! Oh no, what happened, RAV4? Good thing you have Sergeant insurance. What's the first step? Uh, well, actually, we've already done the first step. We went ahead and cleaned any kind of residue, wax, uh, you know, any kind of tree sap, anything that we had existing from the surface off of it. Uh, we already taped it up so that way we don't hurt uh, our existing uh, paint that we just did or the glass or anything like that. We're going to sand out some repair spots that we did up front and then we're going to 800 grit the entire uh, roof, clean it off, tape it up, get it in the booth, and get some uh, fresh tuxedo black line. So. You gonna try a, tie a bow, bro? I haven't learned how to tie my shoes yet, so. <clears throat> Crocs. Okay. Um, sir, I asked for a gloss black wing. What happened? I thought you wanted it matte sanded black. <laughs> Chris, how do you feel about your repair work on the roof? I'm happy with it. It's nice and smooth. We UV primered it so it's nice and smooth. We don't got to put any sealer on it. Especially because we're going with tuxedo black and it covers really, really well. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm completely happy. It's going to look like a sheet of glass. So Chris. Yes. Tuxedo black. Tuxedo black. It doesn't seem like it'd be that complicated. How do you make tuxedo black? Uh, same way we make grabber with a bunch of toners, combine it all together, stir it up, and bam! Tuxedo black. The same way we talked about in the last video with all the variants, um, it, this applies the same for uh, tuxedo black. For us, just for ease of use, we're not trying to match anything. We're just going with the, uh, with the standard uh, prime. So now this one, this one's a little bit different. <clears throat> because of this, uh, so it says main layer contains T4037 limited use. Limited use means it's really only used in maybe two or three colors across the entire thing. Please check stock prior to mixing. Uh, thank God we actually, uh, we have some uh, right here. It's actually in a little squeeze bottle. Um, this stuff is ungodly expensive because it is silver glass flake. It's not a uh, metallic, it's not silver metallic, it's not a pearl. It's actually crushed up glass 
uh, that's in it, and that's what gives Tuxedo Black its, its really gorgeous sparkle, so. Literal glass. Literal glass. Yeah, that's all just to make, just to make black. <laughs> I'm actually pretty shocked at that many ingredients. Yeah. I would have expected less. Nope, nope. There's actually less ingredients in the entirety of Nitrous Blue than there is in Tuxedo Black. Before we keep moving forward with today's video, I just want to give a huge thanks to today's sponsor, Keeps. You used to physically have to go to the doctor's office in order to get any sort of hair loss treatment. It's super convenient and it's delivered right to your home. They make it super easy and they deliver your medication every three months so you get to say goodbye to those pharmacy checkout lines and those super awkward doctor interactions that most of us don't want to go through. Believe it or not, two out of three men are showing signs of male pattern baldness by the time they're 35. So it's good to really hop on the Keeps train and do prevention as soon as possible. I personally was interested in Keeps because I started losing a little bit right here on my hairline and I started freaking out because I'm already 30 now, believe it or not. So it made me go, oh my gosh, I need to take action right now before all of this goes away. <laughs> Keeps treatments typically take four to six months in order to see the results. So so it's better to act now rather than later because the sooner you start keeps, the more hair you'll end up saving on top of your head. And also find out why hundreds of thousands of men trust keeps for their hair loss prevention. So if you are ready to take action and prevent hair loss, make sure to head over to keeps.com slash that dude in blue or click the link in the description below for your special offer on keeps treatments. That's K-E-E-P-S slash that dude in blue. Thank you guys so much and let's move on with the video. So certain blacks will, will actually be used to tint a color to make it darker. Um, so for example, like graphite black, blue black. Some of the colors are used to darken colors. Uh, these bigger ones down here, we have a deep black, which actually under uh, sunlight is more of the bluer variant where when you hear people talk about jet black, jet black under natural sunlight actually is more brown than blue. So we want that deep, rich, dark black, not that, okay, it looks black under most lights, but under sunlight it has like a brownish look. So that's why we're going with deep black versus jet black. This color has both in it. It's just about a 50-50 mixture of it matting base and what this does is this is going to make the color the pigment of the color the black lay flat and it's going to cause the glass flake to sit on top of the base coat even though it's being sprayed at the same time the matting base is going to allow that that pearl and that flake to stand on end which is going to give you a really uh, intense sparkle so you're not going to be able to see it in the base coat but once we put clear coat on it Oh, this thing's gonna shine. So here's blue. So this has the same pearl T4000 crystal silver that is in uh, T Div Blue. So we'll add that to the mixture, and that'll give it a little bit more sparkle. All right, glass flake. Yes. So twist this open, and this gets 15 grams. Because of the water, the water is basically getting in between the binder of the metallic and it's basically leaching it out. It's like it's allowing that metallic to start floating. That's why you're seeing right around there, see it start to like react with it. And that's what it's doing through the whole thing, but right now it's kind of grabbing on to whatever this pearl is right on the surface. So then we'll mix this up.
Chris, go ahead. Look at that, dude. Chris, that's easier to see than the blue. <laughs> that's crazy. See, tuxedo black. Tuxedo black, man. Oh yeah, here we go. Look at that. That's beautiful. PBG Vibrance 5700, which is their ultra high build uh, clear coat. So we're gonna be uh, wet sand and buffing this, same paint that we used on the uh, uh, Jordan's Terminator. The liquid blue car. Liquid blue car, yep, and that car turned out immaculate. Chris, yeah. are you reading comments again? The comments! What is the passive aggressive statement of Chris today about the comment section? I love when people try to talk about stuff they don't know. <laughs> How much do you love let, it? Let me, let me explain this. We had a comment of somebody saying that there is nothing stronger than OEM paint. And that is not true. <laughs> PPG paint is good. It is supplied by the manufacturer. That's who supplies all this stuff. But OEM paint is thin. It's designed in a production format, not in a custom format where it's laid on multiple layers with proper prepping, with proper adhesion. This paint is leaps and bounds going to last way longer than factory paint because it's thicker. It has higher solids. It's designed to last years and years on show cars. I've had multiple customers with bumpers that we've painted and they don't get them PPF, you know, for whatever reason. And they come back to me a year later and say, I want this, you know, my other car painted because every, my factory paint chipped, but this didn't chip. This paint is worth it because it lasts a lot longer than factory. Yep, black roof looks good. Looks real good. Looks real good. It's not even clear, or not clear cut, excuse me. Uh, what's, what's in a buff yet? Yeah. So that's exciting. Yeah, once we block it down, it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be just a sheet of glass. There's the flake. Let's see if we put any light on it. Yeah. Oh yeah, there we go. It wasn't until we turned the lights off to where we can really see where all of our hard work has finally paid off. Because with the lights on in the booth, can't really tell. But with it off, with both of the colors, the black and the blue, oh my gosh, it looks amazing. So let's go take a look. So look at the roof. Now come down and look at the blue. Well, there you go. There it is. There we go. There it is. Yeah, that tuxedo black is intense for sure. We accomplished a lot. This was a much more chill day, I would say. Yeah. The black roof is amazing in the right lighting especially. But the contrast of the roof with the grabber blue, at least even during normal lighting, we have something to prove that something's different oh, yeah. to the untrained eye. So I think it's been a wonderful day. Chris absolutely did amazing work. The entire night we're like, oh yeah, we're making pretty good time. We're not gonna be here we're all night. Home before dinner time. Yeah, every other video during this series, we've been here dumb late. So, we accomplished a lot, it's only like nine o'clock. Feel pretty good. And after that, it's assembling the entire car. Pretty much. And then we get the final new Smurf product. After we wet sand and buff it. After we wet sand and buff it. Wet sand and buff this entire car and then ceramic coating. That's right. Make sure to check out SSR Collision here in Georgia if you want the best of the best paint work and body work you can get. Anything from you got in a fender bender to doing a custom paint job. My man Chris, he's got you. 
And along with that, I upload on Tuesdays, Thursdays, or Sundays. And I will see you guys next time. Take it easy. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.